Hey everybody, if you've been watching a while, you might know my best friend Lauren here, and she's got a project, and she decided to bring it over today, so we're excited to get going on a painting, and actually she's going to do the painting. We were just coming up with some ideas, brainstorming, so she's got this beautiful pumpkin from, uh, <laughs> you grabby fingers, um, from Aldi and we find that you can get some pretty big ones for cheap there. So she came up with the idea. Uh, it was a work party actually, right? Yeah. So she's entering a competition painting a pumpkin. And so what's what's the design plan? Uh, we're going to do a sunflower and a bird. Okay, and I'm gonna show you some pictures from her wedding if that's okay with you. Oh yeah. Sunflowers were in her bouquet they're and her flower. they're gorgeous. So. Just with the natural color of the pumpkin, we thought that would be really pretty. So she's gonna do some contrasting background and we both like birds. So that's what she's gonna do while I uh, watch and- Instructs me. Oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> she's actually a really good artist. She did art in uh, some college classes and yeah. photography, of course, is her uh, former profession or current. I don't know, what would you say? Uh, Half-time profession. Mm -hmm. And somebody's gonna take <laughs> the paper plate. All right, so we're going to get the colors out, and she's going to get going. We're all set up, and I know this is going to be awesome, and I think you'll like it too. So a good reason for painting your pumpkins uh, instead of carving them is that, one, if you like to bake them like me, they stay better longer. And also, for her purposes, you're not going to have any like little flies buzzing around the office if you're taking these and setting them inside somewhere. So... If that gives you an idea, I hope that you write down in the comments below what you paint on your pumpkin. I was telling you earlier that I saw a really cute Nemo and Dory pumpkin painting. Yeah. Uh, down, we live in a, a college town and I guess college students put them on their, their posts for the entryway of their porch and it was, it was awesome. So I love seeing all the creativity that happens during fall and she likes chewing on things. <laughs> All right, let's get going. Miss Cody's gonna help. <laughs> okay, so she's gonna just start sketching right now her, uh, starting with the bird. So have you photographed anyone in a field of uh, sunflowers? A long time ago, yes. My full-time job takes up a lot of my time. So for me to photograph, I have to be available hours that I'm not. <laughs> yeah. Look at this pro. She just has like an eye for it. <laughs> Cody's like, I like it. <laughs> He's your little fan. Somebody's hungry. Isn't this awesome? Wow. And that literally only took you like, what, 10 minutes or yeah. less? <laughs> yeah. It's using a photo as reference. That's great. Awesome. Okay, so um, what are you going to do first? The uh, the blue outline, maybe? So it has time to die while you work on the inside? Yeah. That's a really pretty blue. Isn't it? Especially against that orange. You know what those um, medallions are um, sometimes people have around lights? Yeah. Well, we have one on our front porch, and my mom's like, you should paint that. And uh, I was kind of looking at it. It kind of looks like a sunflower, so I might do something like that. Up on the, around my light. <laughs> this is so cool. I'm so glad you brought up this idea. Thanks for doing this with me. <laughs> oh, thanks for enabling me because I definitely don't have the supplies at my house. <laughs> yeah, I do have all the paints under the sun unless my daughter has used them all. But uh, I was going to be lazy this year and not paint any pumpkins. So I get to live vicariously through her apartment. <laughs> <laughs> the kids might paint. I don't know. But we're just enjoying them on our front porch. I like it. I do too. It's gonna look really nice. If I don't win first place though. <laughs> Watch out. Yeah. She but like peed. <laughs> this will look really cool sitting on my porch too. Yeah. Afterwards. I think I was gonna get you more cheese, right? Yes, please. <laughs> Forgot about it. Remember that one time where I asked you to paint canvases of my dogs? And then it ended up into a painting party between the two of us, and you convinced me to paint one, and you painted the other, and they actually turned out. They really did. I love them. 
That's, that's actually what inspired me to do my painting of Cody. <laughs> it's like, it turned out good once before. I need, I need one of Maggie now. I don't, oh, yeah, I don't, that's true. I don't have a painting of the golden child. The Dollar Tree has canvases. And girl, you got skills. <laughs> Apparently. Maybe start with the red. Like, How? dotting it, probably. Dotting it, okay. because I'm afraid I'm going to mess it up if I add anything else to it. Yeah. That is amazing. Uh, yes. I didn't know I had that in me. Oh my <laughs> this is not the final yet because we are going to spray it with shellac. But how do you feel, Miss Artista? Accomplished. Yeah, you should. It's yeah. amazing. It looks so good. <laughs> yeah, I think it, it definitely looks like the bird is going to just fly off at any moment. Yeah, or the sunflower just like pop off the, uh, the umbrella pumpkin. <laughs> so, wow. So, that's so good. So you want to go get like a pumpkin spice chai thing eating or yeah. something? Let's go get pumpkin spice everything to celebrate. And get this little noisy miss some uh, new footy PJs that actually fit her yeah. little diapered bum. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. So we'll show you at the end. And I'm very pleased to announce, although not totally surprised, that Lauren did win her office's pumpkin decorating contest which I believe included a card detailing package. So that's awesome. Clean card during the fall. Yay. So I hope that you enjoyed this video. And if you did, would you please give it a thumbs up? Click subscribe below if you haven't already for more creative content. I love to talk about reducing overwhelm to live more intentionally and creatively. And I'll see you in the next video. YouTube thinks you'd enjoy this video.
And here's a playlist you might also enjoy. Bye.